Okay, hey, we're going to get some messages from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Let's go ahead and see. I'm using the chakra cards today. So we've got discovery, okay? Discovery. And what else do we have, spirit, for the collective? What do we have? We have soulmate and self-worth, okay? What else do we have for the collective? We have miracle. What else do we have? Growth and service. Three more spirit. What else do we have for the collective? We have joy. I like these cards. What else do we have? We have perfection and completion. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have insecurity. Overall energy is insecurity. Do you see how he's got his hands in front of his heart? It's like fear of being loved because of the devil, right? The top, maybe the toxic relationships that you've had in your life when it comes to certain soulmates in your life. And yes, soulmates can become toxic as well. And so we can form toxic attachments to certain people based off of you know, certain insecurities in our lives. You know, if you have a fear of abandonment, you're going to end up um, being introduced to somebody who abandons you or makes you abandon yourself, right? If you have, you know, fear of being cheated on, um, you're going to manifest in people who cheat on you. Um, whatever you didn't get from a certain parent in your life is what you're going to manifest in accordance to what you think love is, right? Right? And so one of the lessons here is self-worth, you know, recognizing your own self-worth. And I think for a lot of you, you are discovering that about yourself, discovering why you have been in these places that have been less than savory in your life, that have brought a lot of, you know, complacency. I think for a lot of you, you were complacent, you know, you just kind of settled and it was because of self-worth issues. You didn't value yourself. So the universe kept sending you in people who mere reflected, mere reflected back. And so I feel like that's your main discovery right now. And so there's this miracle of growth. There's this miracle of growth. And I think that this has to do with this discovery over here, like recognizing like I'm the common denominator in all the rises and falls in all of my relationships and my relationships are not to blame. It's what I needed to learn in order to become the person that I am and to take your throne. I think a lot of the time you haven't made it to the throne. You never made it to the top because that's what I'm seeing here is this throne and she's looking at the throne like, do I... Do I deserve that? And insecurity will tell you no. And maybe that for some of you has to do with like a, a work setting, right? You've always let somebody else dictate you because of an insecurity that you can't do it yourself. But yet you come home and you're miserable and you, you know, talk about your employer and you, or you talk about the relationships you have in your life, but you're also complacent. Right. And we have been, we were like, well, you know, at least it pays the bills or whatever. But that's again, that's not your self-worth, right? Your self-worth would be like, you know what? I've discovered I can actually do this with the right partnerships, with the, you know, with the, the courage and to make this happen, you know? So I think that the miracle is in the growth. And I feel like maybe for some of you, this is like you recognizing that this is a service that you could offer. Maybe for some of you, you have self-worth when it comes to your service to be able to, you know, um, help other people in need. When people are sick, maybe that's you going to nursing school. But I feel like for a lot of you, you you're you're growing. I feel like you're growing out of these insecurities. And it's like, ah, oh, like, it's almost like you see the light. And it brings you joy. It brings you joy. 
And I feel like miracles are happening all around you. But sometimes we block out those miracles from happening because, again, we're so used to everything being toxic in our lives that it can be hard for us to realize like we've grown out of this situation we're on to a different level now but that's because the the devil always lingers like this has to be too good to be true right and spirits like so you block out miracles from happening that are here to help you with your journey to help you evolve You have to realize that everything is perfect as it is. I think for some of you, you feel like there has to be a, like, I feel like you're perfecting this, but I almost feel like there's a side of you that's like, well, everything isn't perfect yet. But spirit's like, but that's all that's, you know, created in the miracle. And that's because of the negative spin that we tend to put on things. Well, you're ending that cycle. You graduated. It's time for you to sit on your throne. Don't let the devil sit on the throne. Don't be complacent anymore. Because I feel like when you're willing to go down a new path, you're going to discover things about yourself. For some of you, there's insecurity about manifesting in a relationship. And it's your insecurity that has kept you bound to that devil. Toxicity, you know, um, drugs, sex, alcohol, codependency. So you have to work through the, the codependency issues and recognize like, okay, what am I codependent on this individual for? For some of you, it's financial, but spirit's like, yeah, but when you're in the wrong relationship, your money will come and go. Like you'll start noticing things breaking. Your bank account is, you know, going to zero, you know, and again, this is about getting back into an act of service. Like if you, that means like, okay, if you're reliant upon another person to pay your bills or to take care of your shit, then maybe it's time for you to get back into your creativity and recognize like you're telling the universe that this is my self worth, that I'm going to hold on to this relationship because it pays the bills, but there's no love. There's no passion. There's no excitement, maybe fighting and arguing. So what you're doing is you're blocking out true love from coming in and spirits like, so, but you're going to have to see that because I think for a lot of you, it's like you want to manifest in a new relationship. You're just too afraid. I think that you need to get back to the joys of life. I think for a lot of you, maybe it's time for you to get out in nature. I see the flowers here. I see the flowers here. I see the green here. Maybe you need to put house plants more house plants, okay? And maybe for some of you, it's you need to go out and volunteer. Maybe it's time to humble yourself a little bit. Maybe there's somebody here that needs you that's sick right now, whether it's heart sick or, you know, um, not feeling good enough for themselves. Maybe somebody here is a little more less fortunate than you. Than you. Maybe they've gone through a loss. And maybe that's the miracle that happens where you start realizing like, I want to help other people. And it's like this light bulb moment. See how he's got his hand over his head? Like, ta-da, I, I get it. Like I discovered the truth of my, my path, my journey, what my mission is. And it's all because you helped somebody that was less fortunate. And in doing so, I see like all of these red which is connected to the root chakra i see all this red energy so we have root chakra energy here i 
And we also have sacral chakra energy here, which the, the root chakra is about our stability. And did you notice how the devil was on that root chakra? See, people are willing to do, you know, unsavory things to, in their mind, put keep themselves in a place of comfort. But really, it comes with chaos. And I don't think there's a lot of comfort in chaos. Now, for some people, they can't live without it. They don't know their life without drama. But then there's the rest of you who are like, you know what? I just don't feel stable. And this is like working on your own stability, regardless of, you know, whoever it is that you need to release, whoever it is that you need to block out, not letting the devil in your heart space. Not letting evil in that heart space and, and turning you cold. But it's time to get back to that creativity. This is the sacral chakra. And our creativity is based off of our self-worth and our service. And it's time for you to, you know, complete this mission. It's your soul's mission. I do feel like there is crossed over loved ones who are also helping you on this journey towards self-worth. These are soulmates. This could be a mother and a father because I am getting the mother here that is sick. And I am getting here. So there could be some crossed over loved ones that are helping you along this journey. I am getting eat more raspberries. I'm seeing raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, eating more berries. I see somebody here growing their own berries. We do have two of the yellow cards, which is the um, solar plexus, okay? So solar plexus is what I'm getting, and that's the gut health, right? Listening to your gut. And then we also have smack dab in the center, the heart of the reading, the green, which is the heart, the heart chakra. And this talks about growth. So I feel like, you know, when we talk about the heart center, you know, here he's blocking out because of insecurity. And it's like, you know, allowing this to grow regardless. And look how beautiful and lush this is. And the roots, look at the roots. There's something here to do with the roots. I, you know, that's really funny. I was channeling this morning or was it? Yeah, I think it was this, no, maybe it was last night. I was channeling like this plant my my mother had given me. My mother has since passed, and it's funny, not funny, haha, -ha, but yeah, kind of funny. She actually looked like that, right? And so I was thinking last night about this plant that she had given me and how I wish I would have been able to root it, but when I moved to Hawaii, they wouldn't let me have it, you know? But I was like, you know, that wasn't a toxic plant. I wonder if I could have, you know, gotten that over and... So that's funny that, and I saw the roots, like me clipping a piece off and I saw the roots coming out in my mind's eye. So I do think that this has to do with your roots, maybe going back to your roots. I think that that's where a lot of our insecurity lies is in our roots, our family tree, you know, because of family drama. And maybe for a lot of you, this had to do with a lot of karmic energy as well. But again, this is about you completing cycles with soulmates who no longer serve a purpose in our lives. Some of them have had to cross over into the spirit realm, but they're here to help guide you. I'm going to leave that here, you guys. Thank you to our spirit guides, angels, and ancestors for guiding this session. I love you guys also very much. Like, share, and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. Um, and I look forward to seeing you later.